This is the new Gucci thing? I'm guessing this is the new one because it costs the most. So it, ha it better be the new one. Uh, Mr. Gucci or Mrs. Gucci. Cool. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy Fetty Watt, man. Time to show you these jewels. First piece of jewelry. I believe it was a 1738 piece. Um, 1738, you know, that's the crew. It's actually a liquor company, but it's like the, the liquor we used to drink, the Remy Martin. That's like the fine, the fine wine right there, you know what I'm saying? 1738, the Remy Martin, but, you know, we just, that's just how I think we just call each other the Remy boys. This is a special gift right here. I actually got this from my driver right here. 2016, the Freddy Wap Tour. Welcome to the Zoo Tour. He drove my truck all the way from New Jersey to California, from California to back to New Jersey, so. I actually mentioned it in the song Flip Phone that I did. Go Mercedes chain from my chauffeur. Pablo! <laughs> the most recent piece, the Fat Boy Gang right here. Got this from my boy, Fat Boy SSC. You know, it's a gift he on tour with me right now. He from New Jersey too, I'm from New Jersey. So, you know, that's what we do, we family, you know what I'm saying? So, we got the Fat Boy gang. Got my DJ right here, DJ S. Dot. He was the first person in New Jersey to ever break track queen. So, I you know, my loyalty, you know what I'm saying? I gave him one of my cars too. This was my like gift to him. You know what I mean? Holding it down, you know, everybody gotta get their chain, you know what I'm saying? He actually was the first person to give me a, an apartment before I was doing the music. So I was living in his attic with my girl. His grandma was like tripping on this, and then once the money started coming in, everything was good. <laughs> I got my other DJ, DJ Big L Forever. He liked the Cubans, so I'm the big Cuban. He's like the most famous DJ in Patterson, New Jersey. That's where we're from. So I felt like it was an honor to have him, you know what I'm saying, come rock with me as I started my journey from Patterson. We both from the same city. How much does something like that worth? Uh, 35 to $40,000. This is like my first tennis piece right here. The smaller it is, the more money you have to pay. And a lot of people don't know that, so I think this was like, $25,000 for this race. <laughs> and that's only because I got uh, flawless diamonds in this. Got my favorite bracelet. I can't ever remember the name. And as you can tell, I wear my shit because there's a little diamonds missing a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but. The chain I had to this, it was like one of my first Cuban links I bought myself. Growing up in Patterson, a Cuban chain, but like it was the big dog. This is one of the pieces where I kind of like stepped up my game. I call this the big rock. It's only like three stones in there. Versus how this one got like six or eight stones going across, you know what I'm saying? I was like the first person to start the lock with the diamonds on it. I wanted to do something different because I didn't want to put a, a pendant on it. So I wanted to wear it like as a dog chain. Shout out to Gucci man. He actually was the one that inspired this. So he said one of his songs, Call I'm a dog, he was like a $150,000 dog collar. It was actually $15,000 more. <laughs> but it, you know, it was worth it though, it's cool. So this was my trophy to myself. It's pretty like long, so kind of hangs down there. It's like four carats. This is actually my everyday chain. I love this one so much. How many diamonds are in there? It's crazy. I'm not for sure, but I think last time it was like 60. Yeah, these are like the rocks that go in like the wedding rings <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, this was like 220,000 or something like that. I paid for this one. This is my two carat chain. This is like the big dog. I start at two carats at the little U, and then it goes up to four carats. And this one was like 249. My favorite. The iced out protect. When I first seen this watch, I seen it and I was like, yo, why none of those look like this one? Like only this one looks like this. There's no other one looks shines like this one. And this was like, I gotta get this shit like right now. I had we had like a little mini tour in the UK and I wanted to know what time it was in the UK when I went back home. So when I set the watch, I never changed it. So now every time I wake up and I wanna know what time it is in London, I just like a little bit later, so I got the big dog. 
This is like my prized possession right here. You know, a lot of, a lot of people don't got this right here. And baguettes on the face, you know what I'm saying? It's iced, iced out crazy. Anyway, all oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. And this one was like 250 right here. One of the robberies. I had a lot of jewelry on in about like two years. At one point I had like 45 chains. So I think I only wear like three now. I mean, I don't have it all along yet. It's on the way. <laughs> it's still more on the way. I got a lot of chains. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, take two. Boom. Just got a new delivery in, mate. All right, here's so we have a little bit more jewelry to look out here. It's a lot of accent. It's pretty swell, yeah? <laughs> Just got to drop off more Cubans. Like I told you, I love settings. And this one is actually some new shit that I've never seen before. <laughs> this is actually the bigger version of what I had. So this would be the bigger dog. This is ridiculous right here. You guys can see that. This is like, this is so, what's going on with this is not, it's not a drill necklace. You know what I mean? It's, it's no holes in this, so you're not losing value. You're keeping weight and you're adding weight, and it's like a layer on top of it, and you, then you add the diamonds on that. It makes it a lot more expensive than your average Cuban necklace. I don't know what would be the number on this, but I'm gonna just take a wild guess and just say around 185 to 200. Yeah. <laughs> take a wild guess on that one. This was like the starter Cuban before I got like the big one. And then he was like, nah, son, you can't do this. <laughs> we can't do the little one, so then. That was like the, the crossover from this to that. But then I started wearing all them shits together. Eight Cubans I had on, it was, it was ridiculous. This is for all the homies right here. So I bought like 30 of these. And these just like 4,500 a piece. <laughs> so everybody passed them out, you know. Everybody got their shine, shine, bling, bling on. Next time I come back, we're gonna have the whole treasure chest for you guys. It's gonna look like Gilligan's Island in this motherfucker. Yo, it's your boy Fetty Wap, 1738. Be out here, I wanna say thank you to GQ. Got this thing shining out here, looking like a little big flashlight, you know what I'm saying? Squaw!